Hey everyone, this is a really quick tutorial for making counters for your Kings of War games or other war games. The main thing I noticed in my first games of Kings of War is how everyone was using dice or tokens of set numbers for marking damage. I found this time consuming as you'd have to recalculate every time you do more damage and then you'd have to like add like three tokens then take one of them away, add another blah blah blah. And it was really easy to mix stuff up, uh, combats were becoming messy and you know, frankly, things were being forgotten or uh, accidentally changed. The other thing about Kings of War and games like it is that a lot of people use multi bases and they often magnetize these bases. So I wanted to make tokens that made sense at first glance, you know, you weren't going to get confused in the heat of battle, and that they were cheap, preferably using materials you already have as a gamer. So, You'll need access to a printer. You need magnetic sheets. The ones used for making fridge magnets are fine. Then steel sheeting or spare rare earth magnets, a scalpel, a decent pair of scissors, and lastly, leftover square bases, which you should have plenty of because of multi-basing. You need at least 10 bases, and I use 25 millimeter ones, but if you want to use different size ones, you will have to scale all the other items that I'm talking about and they might get too small, they might get too big. The universal glue and the clippers are here as options, depending on how exactly you're gonna make your tokens. I made up this sheet here, which has a list of individual numbers and a bunch of other tokens such as Waver, W, Disorder, D, Chant, Plague, and Death. I printed this page. You can download it right from the link in my comments. In the printer settings, I chose the option to scale to fit for one page and that gave me about a 37% size of the image. Now it's actually a little too big as you'll see later, but it's a quick tutorial. So I'd suggest learn from me, do about 30 to 32% size. Once printed, stick the paper to your A4 magnetic sheet. Usually you'll have a peel away back for the magnetic sheet, but if you don't use universal glue and be very careful to give yourself enough time for it to dry or you'll damage the sheet. Again, something I did which you'll hopefully learn from. Once dry, use your base to mark above and below the numbers. You want two numbers to be able to fit to each base. So I cut two out and tested it by putting them directly on one of the 25 millimeter bases and then cutting until they fit fairly well. Once I knew what I needed, I marked out where I was going to cut out the numbers. I cut them out with the scissors. I then compared each strip to the height of those two numbers that I made originally and cut wherever necessary. And this is where you see my printing size is an issue. I should only have to cut once here, but I often was re-trimming because things were just a little bit too big for what I wanted. At this point, I realized I hadn't distinguished the sixes and nines, so I drew lines below each. Once the numbers are finished, attach small steel squares or your magnets to each base. If you're using steel sheeting, be careful to cut it small enough so that you don't have sharp pointy bits sticking out. Now, whenever you have a new damage number, you just have to grab the two numbers out of your tub of numbers and put them on the base by your unit. Really easy to see clearly what's going on and you can reach really high numbers without big piles of dice or tokens. And you can even order them by number and they should stay together pretty well, even when you're transporting. The rest of the tokens don't need to be based they're fine as they are, and I actually made them round just for variety's sake. That's pretty much it. If you have a small container like this peppermint box, it's perfect. And if you subscribe, you'll see the tokens in my future battle reports. I also have tutorials now and then like this one. And if you like and share this video, then other people will see it and also have nice tokens. And uh, we'll no longer have to deal with this terrible dice and, you know, kind of getting numbers wrong situation. And that's... That's a community service, so go ahead and share. Thank you.